going on to all of you Leos out there? So you Leos have got the Queen of Swords, the uh, King of Wands, King of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Eight of Swords, <clears throat> then you have the Seven of Pentacles, excuse me, the Hanged Man, Four of Cups, the Star, and the Three of Pentacles. So you have the, the last card was the Three of Pentacles, right? So let me fix this. Let me adjust this real quick, real quick. There we go. So for you, Leos, right, um, you and someone clashing heads, but, right, this is the two cards, you and the other person clashing heads. You're trying to see if these people are real. You're trying to, you're having some issues with you and somebody else that you're supposedly trying to get to know. People that you're supposed to be getting to know on that level, but you and them are not necessarily seeing eye to eye or you weren't seeing eye to eye with them. You may, it could be now, it could be something from the past, okay? You're getting to know somebody, but you and this person just seem to be always off. Things aren't necessarily congruent uh, between you and them. It's always a situation where these people always want to do whatever it is that they want to do, but they want to act like they like you and two of you are supposed to be in a relationship and <clears throat> yeah they're saying that sometimes they may not even say that uh sometimes they may tell you directly that you know they're gonna do whatever it is that they want or that they're they're bad and bougie and boss type and you know all the you know listen you want to know why it is that i have such a uh, uh, a sarcastic manner like this is because I've seen a lot of boss types, Leo, get crushed whenever it is that they try to compare themselves to me. These these boss types, and they act like they're so bossy, and this, that, and the third, but I'm the one that actually owns a business. They don't. But they think that they're the boss of somebody, right? That they just command people just off the strength off of the work that they've been putting in in life People have heard of them and all this other type of stuff. Listen, that boss type mentality that people have, regardless on either side, right? Because both sides do that. Yeah, that's 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 games. That's games. That's delusions. You know what I mean? That's that's delusion. Because that's that's the worst thing in the world to see somebody who ain't got squat, doing bad, doing terrible in life, unsuccessful acting like they so fly and they don't need any help and who are you and the lies the lies that people tell themselves so then you have the uh the king of pentacles and the king of pentacles represents um so a lot of you leos are moving forward right king of pentacles is a conglomerate or a mixture of capricorn and taurus as you can see it has certain traits of capricorn with the money and the the uh the, the uh the scepter or the wand even though it should be in the other hand uh but at the same time uh this also is a person that is very much so calm cool collected and a taurus you can see the the crown the it rep, it, re, it resembles the bull horns right or it's symbolic of the bull horns a person that is in control of their lower nature or i should say not in control fully but aware of their lower nature and a bunch of other stuff but this is you leo's being in control of the fact that you know these people act like you don't have options and of course you leo's have options right you don't necessarily have to talk to that person you don't have to engage with them you don't have to rock with them at all you can choose to you can choose to stop talking to them so let's recap so for some of you leos right so a lot of you leos have essentially uh come out of self-imposed isolation and now that a lot of you are talking to somebody right speaking to somebody things are just now starting off slowly and they're already giving you a hard time they're already giving you a whole new face where they're getting the attention from it and now they're super pumped up their ego is super pumped up now they're putting on this show and it's like and it's like again who 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 are they doing it for you know and what are they trying to prove you know you 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 leos give these people you leos made these people feel so good 
from your presence that somebody is interested in them. Like I said before, Leo, a lot of people, you, listen, you need to come get my private services because y'all got to understand the game. Y'all, y'all still not getting it. That people who, who front this type of stuff, a lot of the times that's exactly what it is. It's a front. And if you want me to explain to you how come get my services, you know, <laughs> because your presence just from hanging out with them, they're so happy that somebody is showing them attention. They play, they stupid. They don't know what to do. They over here. Dig it. I don't think y'all get it. The three of swords and the eight of <laughs> and the eight of swords represents. And this is the stupidity showing its ugly head because now it's you, Leo, showing them attention. And now they're doing all this extra stuff. But they, again, this shows their hand because they two chicken squat to actually be in a relationship with a lot of y'all. So you know what it is that they're going to do instead? Waste time and play games. That's what they're going to do. They're going to waste time, play games, which will ruin the relationship between you and them but at the same time right <laughs> they want to be in a relationship with you right because as soon as you showed up they just couldn't be they were so flattered they just couldn't believe that somebody was paying attention to them and then now that you leo's paying attention to them y'all are so unique and, and 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 unique and prized and 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 attractive and sweet and they just can't believe it because that's another th reason too why it is that people play games they just can't believe it's just it's just too good it's just it's just too good it's just too good they just can't believe that somebody this good is interested in them they just can't believe it it's, it's just too good so you know what happens right you know what happens with the with the too goodness you know what happens People now start to think that you're suspicious and they start uh, to they start to give you a whole new face because now they got an issue with you, Leo's in particular, but anyone who's too good showing them some love. And this is exactly what happened with you, Leo's. You're too good. And now they got an issue with you, Leo, showing them some love. So now they they're going to do all types of even though they want you, they're going to do all types of stupid stuff to create separation where you virgo excuse me you because sometimes you leos act like virgos but you leos was in self-imposed isolation in the first place to get away from all of the weirdos and now boom now you got to deal with the weirdos again seven of pentacles and the hangman represents here they are scapegoating the mess out of you because they like you so much but they too chicken squat to be in a relationship with you so they're giving you some sort of pushback. They're giving you some sort of problem. But you know what it is that a lot of you are doing? A lot of you Leos are doing this, the Four of Cups. Y'all are moving forward with your lives and talking to other people. You're going to give them one last try. And if they still act like they stupid, then you're going to move forward. You're going to move forward so fast to the point where it'll make their head spin if they if they don't start acting correctly. Because, you know, and, and the reason why I'm saying that to you is because I've, I'm, how many people, has, how many people have you Leos known where those people want you to do everything? See, a lot of times people want you to do everything, come up to them, talk to them, give them, you know, a, a take your number down, call you, do this, do that. Because like I said before, that what it is that they want to see is that they're playing they're they're being stupid and they're acting an idiot because they want you to do all the work because they want you to get more and more invested because so many people have not been so invested so they got to go to the extreme to see well are you really in invested right because they're skeptical are you really invested i, I need to actually see some sort of deep investment from you i need to see something big Right. Instead of letting time do its job and showing time, you know, and, and letting time show you that these people really do have your back. You know what it is that they're doing? What they're doing is 
they're, they're like, you need to take me out on a, on a date. You need to do this. You need to do that. You need to show me this. You need to give me this. I need to see that. I need. That's where all the requirement talk comes from. I need to, I, I require you to do this. I require you to do that. I require you to do this, right? All of the five love languages, right? And in my book, I, t I talk about this. Healthy relationships are supposed to incorporate all five of the love languages automatically if it's a healthy relationship. So again, there's something about this, these high demands that you keep talking about that by definition, you're, you're not getting those, those five love languages and more actually met because you spent so much time messing around with the dummy. Oh, you require this and you require that. Shut up. You require this. You, you know, them people who talk about how it is, excuse me. You know those people who talk about how it is that they require this and they require that and X, Y, and Z and doing this and doing that and all of this and all of that. You require all, Leo, they require all this and they got all these issues with you and they want you to do all this and do all that. And, 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 and they should, you know what that says to me, Leo? That says that they're not used to someone that has self-respect and that's handling their business, talking to them, is even talking to them. This is what I'm trying to get you Leos to understand. I'm teaching y'all the game, that there's some people out here who have such low self-esteem fronting like they're decent individuals, but they're the ones that has the most demands. I remember, I remember seeing this individual sitting up here in one of the videos I don't know what it is, but there's some sort of discoloration around this person's upper lip. And they looking and they looking just I don't know. And like, I don't know what it is. And like the person is talking this and they require this and they require that. And they they need this and they need that. And I'm saying to myself, and and me and and a and and a and a sister was talking, I ain't gonna say talking, because that's a lie, but me and a sister was saying the same things is what I'm trying to say, right? Where, as soon as I saw that video, I already knew like, oh, okay, these individuals, this person right here never had any of this type of stuff. That's why they need such a big investment is because people will come through, smash and then bounce, but don't want to be seen with this individual. And that's where all the requirements is coming from. And then the sister was saying the same thing about how this person, same thing that I was saying. So whenever it is that you see, Leo, that people need all these acquirements, right? Excuse me, requirements met. Who are they trying to fool? So guess what it is that you Leos are going to do? The star and the three of pentacles. They really, that what they really hope, the star card hope, what they really hope for you Leos is they want you Leos to become invested in getting to know who they are more and potentially, you know, being in a relationship with them. But why didn't they just act like they have common sense and you Leos could have probably been in a relationship with them anyway? See, a lot of times, see, Leos aren't as shallow as some people think. Yeah, Leos can be shallow, yeah. But that's the lower grade Leos, over preoccupied with physical beauty, them in Libras. But at the same time, you got to also understand that, you know, and, and Scorpios too, to a certain extent. But you got to also understand that. But when a Leo is on a higher level, though, that's not really the. See, that's what I'm talking about. A lot of Leos get this terrible misconception. See, I'm hard. See, this is what I'm trying to say. I'm hard on every zodiac sign, but I'll also tell the truth about every zodiac sign. A lot of Leos get that that misconception about them badly, very badly. That a lot of people think that Leos are 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 only shallow, and it's like eh, that's not really true though. That's not true though. So they want you to be in a relationship with them, but because they because but they're tripping out about their looks and. And you Leos ain't even tripping out about this. They should have just played their cards right and acted like they had some sort of self-respect and just did that. But then you have the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles now represents 
this being a situation for you where, you know, um, when you leave, they only did it. They only did it to themselves. Sorry about this. So let's clarify some of these cards now. Let's clarify the uh, the star card. The the devil, three of swords, two of swords, seven of swords. So. Yeah, they they now have this dysfunctional attachment to a lot of you Leos because they don't want to let go because they like you a lot. But they're again, they're putting on a show on Broadway. They're doing way too much acting and trying to act like they're a boss and trying to compete with you and be disrespectful. And a lot of you Leos ain't going for that because they didn't have to do all of that for you to like them. You probably already did. You probably already wanted to get to know them. The Three of Swords, the Two of Swords, and the Seven of Swords is about how, so now they created the schism between the two of you. And now when you move forward and you're not talking to them, as more than likely you probably will very soon if you haven't already, they're going to look real stupid. They're going to they're gonna feel a certain, they're going to feel bad. They're going to feel a certain type of way about this because they know that they ruined this opportunity with you, Leos, that they could have got that they had to to be with you, but they spent so much time trying to act like they this boss royalty and all this other type of stuff. They look stupid now. So now it's right back to square one for them. And you Leos continue on, continue to live your lives and keep talking to other people at your expense. And you're gonna continue to have fun as you Leos do. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. Trying to make my YouTube channel grow to 10,000 subscribers. We have 7,100 subscribers. Again, I can't tell y'all thank you enough. I really appreciate it because y'all did not have to subscribe to me at all. This could have been a, a an empty channel, but yet y'all are the ones that fill this channel up. Really appreciate y'all. What? Smash the subscribe button. Smash the like button. Hit the notification bell. Set that notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop my videos.